Hello everyone and welcome to our Loose Thread exhibition with the Edinburgh Gallery Society. I'm Holly, I'm president of the Society and this is Danelle, our exhibition coordinator and she's going to tell you a little bit about our theme and why we chose um, to set it in a garden basically. Yeah, so um, the theme Loose Thread we got from an artist Fiona Goss, we put on our Instagram a poll um, asking for ideas for our exhibition and we really liked hers because we just kind of felt that the whole kind of concept around being kind of at a loose thread with the pandemic um, <laughs> just kind of the fact that we've all been so connected and so together but also so apart and really distant so we kind of liked the idea around that and um, we thought we'd kind of try tie that into the gallery space as much as we possibly could and in terms of hanging the works as well um, try to incorporate it all so Holly will show you a bit more around the gallery. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Right, okay guys, first piece we have is Rachel Watkins Together Under One Sun. This is an acrylic painting that can be turned into a print and it reflects all of the women that she loves in her life um, and this is also one of her favourite pieces and it encapsulates a sense of unity and togetherness which is a really nice part of the exhibition. Okay guys, on to the next one. This is a piece by Olivia Yanaka. Um, it is acrylic paint on canvas called Hair. And quite clearly it's a reconstruction of Johan Vermeer's um, Girl with a Pearl Earring. But it differs from the original because it is depicting an African woman and um, all of the African bright colours and patterns as part of the artwork as well. Um, I think this is quite an empowering piece as well, um, which is nice to have featuring in our exhibition. Okay, <laughs> ignore the door everyone, <laughs> the door just slammed shut. Right, okay, this is Rowena Hutchinson's work called The House Pair. Um, it's a really interesting work and it's part of her line series. Um, where she explores the boundaries of painting. This actually works as quite um, like an installation piece as well because she painted on both sides of the work. If you'd like to come round and have a look. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a really interesting piece and it works well with our theme. Um, yeah, so thank you very much Rowena for featuring your work. Okay guys, apologies to the next one. This is a really, really interesting piece by Gillian Carroll and it is called Earthly Endeavour. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's got a lot of texture to it and the paintwork on it is quite unique compared to the rest of the works we have here. Um, and I think it also works quite well in this space as well because it, all the earthy tones and the paint um, kind of match with the background as well. So yeah, this is watercolour, ink and gouache and acrylic on a canvas. Okay, on to the next one. So this is a, um, a photograph series by Ella Moore Hughes called The Plastic Pandemic. You can find more about her work on our website which is um, going to be launching the rest of the non-physical works. Um, but it's supposedly to raise awareness of the environment and the effects of plastic waste on marine life. It's quite a, um, quite a triggering piece of work to be honest but it raises some really important um, messages and ideas that we need to be considering during this time and age. You can also find all of the Instagram ads of all of the work that are exhibited here um, if you would like to find some more about the paintings and um, I'm sure they'd all appreciate a follow <laughs> and some support of their social media. So this next work is by Meg Alty. It is oil on canvas. I can move this string out the way. Um, it's an experiment with, I think they pronounce it bokeh photography transferred into a painting where the natural light becomes blurred and creates a more serene atmosphere. So 
also we can move around onto these paintings here this is a work um by imogen i've forgotten her last name but I, once again you can go onto the website and have a look at her work which will be posted there um it's on it's it's paint on denim and ink i'm pretty sure but it works quite well in our installation um yeah and it's beautiful there wasn't a description given with this piece, but I can kind of assume that it's supposed to be representing femininity and female empowerment. And probably a question about clothing as well. Um, but then again, you can find out more on the website. <laughs> right, okay, moving on. This is a work by Avery Teal called A Ball of Yarn. It is acrylic on canvas. But yeah, it's a beautiful work and it's quite, it's quite calming and it goes well with the vibe of the garden as well. Right, okay, next one. So this is a series of work by Rose Rain Sutherland. She has done a student showcase for us before actually and has promoted her work um, with us several times before. But yeah, her installation is very, very... Um, fitting with the theme of her work she usually features landscapes and seascapes but this is a new um, side to her work that I haven't seen before <laughs> and once again if you'd like to find out more you can find her at on our page or on the website moving on again this is a work by Isaac Osborne called Tape Quilt it's a multimedia collage and it's um, the tape quilt is formed of a series of patches constructed from obsolete computer cassettes. The tape from the cassette is woven through the cassette manual. And it's a work that comments on fragility and the temporal temporality of data and its independent nature. And this work was actually posted up to us, so thank you very much, Isaac, for sending that to us. Okay, moving on. This work is by Megan Davies, our very own secretary. Um, and it's called Put On A Happy Face and it's acrylic on canvas. Um, it's exploring the idea of inner conflict and chaos in contrast to the seemingly calm exterior, which demonstrates the idea that most people put on a happy mask within their daily lives. And again, we'll move over here. Maneuver through all the thread. <laughs> um, this is a work by Elise Lee Orr and it's called As Through the World Has Impended Itself. This is oil and acrylic on canvas. It's quite an abstract piece and one of the largest installations we have. So it's nice to have um, some of the varied sizes that, we, that are going on in this exhibition. It's also quite a striking work and it works really well in contrast um, within the space to all the varied um, works that we have going on here. Moving on again, this is a work by Shay Preston and it is, as he's put it, an attempt to paint a soundscape. Um, obviously this is a very detailed work and it's beautiful really. Um, yeah, it's acrylic on canvas and if you'd like to find out more about his work he's also tagged on our website. Um, moving on once again. This is a work by Danelle Evans, who we met at the start. She is our exhibition coordinator, and it's a work called Meadows. This is a series of oil on paper, and she sketches from her life to describe the movement and evolution of the new outdoor-based social scene with instinctive organic mark-making to authentically record the looseness of the figure. Right, okay, and, oh, we covered Lottie Basil? I'm not sure. Um, this is a work by Lottie Basil. Forgot to cover it before, but this is called Double the Alice, and it's taken on film, and as she's put it, it has been severely edited on Photoshop. Um, this is quite a striking piece, and she's defined it as, she's edited her beautiful friend Alice to look even more be 
even more like a beautiful alien. Um, and she said it's actually the product of some severe procrastination, which is how most of her art is made, which we appreciate greatly, to be honest, because it looks pretty good. Um, moving on to our final piece. We're following through like the web <laughs> <laughs> on string. Um, this is an, an anonymous work, even, and it is um, an ode to the death of Sarah Everins. So we'd like to end with this piece just because it's quite a striking and important piece of work um, that highlights the tragedy of her death, but also puts, um, you know, puts the work into the art form and how art can be a uniting um, experience for everyone. Um, it's also an ode to Sarah's tree in the meadows, which is quite a nice touch, we thought, in terms of uniting the space and the theme that we've gone with, with featuring all of your work in a garden. So yeah, I think we've covered everything, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our first annual exhibition and hopefully we'll see you all next year for hopefully a bigger and better one. But yeah, thank you very much, guys. <laughs>